Hello everyone and welcome to AAS Art Channel. My name is Ilkan Wiesma and today I'd like to show you this uh, little project that I made uh, recently. It's a uh, little study that I, uh, that I did for um, my upcoming painting. And I needed to paint it, uh, to paint some horses. But uh, yeah, you can call them energy horses or a bit ghosty horses. <laughs> but I needed that uh, translucent feel from the horses, I needed to see that background but also I needed some shape so therefore I made this little study because I never had uh, painted uh, like this before and I had some images in my mind that needed to come out um, like I said a little bit um, like like yeah energy horses and uh, so therefore I needed some uh, to practice some techniques and I thought it would be nice to uh, show you uh, today how I practice this and uh, also I'm talking about why I am practicing this because it's very handy this is a very cheap canvas and uh, you need to keep in mind that the texture of this canvas is way different than my other project but I know that so I know what um, what things I can come uh, across when you have different textures. So there I wasn't focused on the texture, but I was focused on the techniques. And also the texture will uh, uh, have his influences on the techniques. But once again, I just had to practice it. So it wasn't that important. But what I did, I made this, uh, this canvas a little smoother than it was. And because I like to paint on, on smooth canvases. So uh, I did that, then I painted just a solid black. And I started with painting my uh, horses and using different techniques. Once again, I wanted to have them translucent. But uh, like uh, you see uh, the horses here and the, the tail and the hair, the mane. I uh, want to have some indication of mane, so I made some lines. And um, also here on uh, some parts where it would be a, a bit of a shadow but also some uh, muscle texture with uh, and I needed to know which lines were important and which lines I needed in to uh, paint it in and which lines I did not have to paint in for example for the shape of his, uh, his foot um, I needed to know which, which lines were very important so therefore once again I made this little study and I'm gonna show everything that I did uh, for this uh, in, in my upcoming tutorial but um, yeah, I thought it would be nice to do an intro like this because I can uh, talk about it a little bit more and also I don't know if that it's uh, you can see it but in the corners of the canvas I will zoom out a little bit in the corner of the canvases there are bumps I, I think you call it bumps and the texture is not great and um, I really need to um, pre uh, of stretches uh, again if I uh, want to sell it but I obviously don't want to sell it like I said it's just a little study for the day so that was a little of intro of this study I hope you like it and I uh, like I said I uh, try to share um, my techniques and at the end of this uh, tutorial I will come back to you and I will show you the bottles of paint that I'm using because I try to talk about it of I try I talk about them and I mentioned the brands but I uh, will uh, let you show it because I think it's a little bit easier and also I will have some links for you where you can um, can see the project project uh, product I'm sorry and uh, maybe you want to buy it for yourself so uh, but first here is that tutorial And I'm just starting to paint over my uh, initial uh, drawings and um, I did the uh, drawings uh, of those uh, two horses with pastel pencils so it will uh, dissolve with the, with the water and the paint and um, but it will not cause any troubles and for this project I uh, used my most translucent uh, paint and in this case it's uh, the white uh, transparent mixing white from uh, Liquitex Basics And the amount of translucent uh, is um, very important for for this uh, kind of painting, of course, because you need to see the background through the paint. That why you will get that ghosty feel. What I'm uh, trying to get here, because it's um, yeah, like I said, it, it, those are energy horses, so they need to have a shape and body. But also, we need uh, that um, see-through effect and therefore I need a very very translucent paint and like I said the transparent mixing white is uh, ideal for this, this kind of uh, paintings 
because if you like you can also uh, glaze some color over it so for example if you want those uh, horses to be green just paint them in with uh, this paint this transparent mixing uh, transparent mixing paint um, and then glaze some green color over it and it will uh, you will have a uh, green translucent horses And I'm really taking my time for this project. I'm really watching my references and uh, try to figure out which baselines I need to get shape and body in the horses. And remember, it's just a, a, a project, so if I'm doing something wrong, it's not the end of the world. It's uh, not on my original work, so therefore I can uh, try different things out. And all the things that I like, I will uh, use for my uh, initial uh, painting. You may notice in the corners of this uh, canvas, there are some, uh, some bombs. This canvas is very bad, it's a very cheap canvas, but I, uh, for this project uh, it was very suitable. Like I said, if I did something wrong, it's not the end of the world. I'm not intending to uh, sell this painting or anyhow, so therefore I uh, can try different things and mess up if I like, or uh, try to figure out some techniques, of course, that I really like, and I did. So therefore I'm very happy that I did make this a little study. Once again, I try to look very closely uh, at my reference photo to uh, get those base lines in. And on the places where I thought there was some shadow, I'm painting in a little bit more of this paint. And once again, it stays translucent, but you can see a little bit more uh, white paint on the canvas, and that will indicate shapes and form, and that was very important. And actually, it's not very hard to make something like this. It's just uh, you can basically paint any subject that you want to have a ghost feel to it uh, with these techniques. It's it's very easy. Just building uh, building up. And if you've never done this before, I suggest you make a little study and you can uh, try some techniques. And when you get a hand of it, it's very very easy. And I'm using that big brush. It's a mop brush well actually it's a makeup brush but i'm using it as a mop brush i have no water no paint on that brush but i slightly go over the previous layers with that brush to uh, get rid of my brush strokes because those brush strokes will give extra details and i don't want extra details i want the details to be into place if um, they needed to be there, but I don't need details for the sake of details, I just need details in the right place. Now I have quite some water on the brush, on the other brush, not on this brush, this brush is uh, clean, I'm just smudging the paint out, but on the other brush I have quite some water on it and a little bit of paint and i'm just starting to build up i don't know exactly how much water i need and how much paint but i'm just trying if i like the effect i um, stick with it if i don't like it i adjust it maybe i need some more water maybe i need some more paint it's not that big of a problem i can adjust it very easily and remember you can always paint over something if you don't like it that much And personally I found it a very very uh, a nice effect when I painted in his tail. It, it, it makes the horse way more complete than it was before. I wanted to paint in more hairs, more clumps of hairs. And uh, like I said it, it lets stand out that horse way more than it did before. And once again I'm painting over it with a uh, slightly damp brush but I don't have paint on it. And Maybe that brush was dry, I, at this stage I don't remember exactly, but sometimes I uh, wet that uh, brush, that clean brush a little bit, and sometimes I use it dry, it just depends on the effects that, I, uh, that I'm getting with that brush. Because if the paint starts to dry, you need a uh, slight damp brush, if the paint is quite wet, you need, uh, or you can use a uh, quite dry brush to get rid of your brush strokes and to smudge the paint out a little bit more to make it a little bit more smoother. And by smoother I mean you get rid of the uh, 
structure of the canvas as much as possible. I like to be my paintings as smooth as I can. Of course, there's always will be some texture of the canvas. We need the texture of the canvas to let the paint stick. But um, that's all. I don't need extra texture. Personal taste there, but I uh, like as, to work as smooth as I can. And once again, I'm not painting in every single hair. I try to work in clumps of hair to get that feel of his uh, his mane. And he had uh, quite some long hairs there. So I, uh, but I want to have them in clusters, not in single hairs, but in clusters of hair. That way, it looks way more natural than I would um, paint in every single hair by itself. And I'm just reworking some areas. I'm hyping up some contrast. I'm making a little bit more details here and there where I think it's suitable to suit it. And uh, this is basically it. I'm just really taking my time. And at this stage I knew enough, but I uh, found it very fun to make this harsh. So I uh, did practice a little bit longer. But, uh, and, and yes, I work on his feet. Not on his foot, but on his feet. I'm sorry. <laughs> And like I promised in the intro, I will uh, come back with the uh, with the paint and the paint that I'm referring at in the the tutorial. I will zoom in a little bit because I think don't think you can read it like this. It is the uh, Liquitex acrylic soft body and uh, transparent mixing white. I hope you can uh, can read it very small letters, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a beautiful beautiful paint and for especially for this technique. Uh, it's it's very very handy and like I mentioned if you wanna uh, give this uh, harsh a different color it's very easy you can glaze over some colors green red blue whatever it, it doesn't matter that much and um, and that's that that is very handy because you will keep the translucent um, paint and the translucent style but you can change the colors so that is the, the one that I used but the Liquitex Basics. Uh, which I normally normally use uh, have their own of have in that line of uh, basic paint is now also available the uh, transparent mixing white this one came with a mail this week so I never uh, have a chance uh, I don't have uh, tried it yet so I don't know for sure if it works the same but I will definitely will try because I really love this paint not only for painting this style I use it a lot for uh, for eyes, for the for that uh, that that nice um, light that will fall over the eyeball and make it very realistic. This paint is really fantastic. Well, actually, I should say this little bottle is uh, works really really well. But I think this one will work also. But I will uh, come back to that um, uh, in another tutorial because, uh, like I said, I have to test it first. So, but I thought that would uh, you may wanna would like to know that this that this paint is available now. So that was it for uh, for today and uh, like always if you have any questions or anything please leave them in the comments below and please let me know if you like this tutorial. I like to make more of these kinds of things so I can focus a little bit more on uh, a few specific uh, techniques and things that I like to do. Um, I also had included some music in this uh, tutorial. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to uh, let the music be there but uh, for, for I, I thought I, uh, it would be nice to try some things out because when it's quiet I always uh, think that I need to talk and need to say something and that's not always um, as nice so therefore uh, because I think it's uh, it gets very uh, busy I can <laughs> I can say when I uh, talk a lot and about a lot of different things so therefore I'm uh, trying out some uh, different setups uh, also for my tutorials. But uh, thanks again for uh, uh, thanks for watching and once again if you have anything uh, you would uh, ask me please leave them in the comment your questions in the comment section below. For now thank you for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next tutorials. Bye bye.